As we approach the new year, this is often a time that we as people sit in moments of reflection. We reflect on the past year, all of the things that we accomplished, and even the things that we set out to do that we were unable to complete. It's often a time that we look forward at the new year. We set goals, um, often referred to as resolutions, um, but we make plans on what we intend to achieve for the new year. I want to take this moment to just remind the people of this country of who we really are. If we think back to our ancestors, if we think about the men that built this country on our maritime heritage, the men that faced storms at sea, some of those storms took them off course and took them to countries that they weren't even planning to visit. Unfortunately, some of them were lost at sea and never made it back home. And then let's just talk ab about the women for a minute. The women that stayed at home, they were both mother and father to their children. They did the job of a man and a woman in the home. Uh, again, resilience. That is what those men and women were made of. They were resilient people. And that's who we are. We come from people who are resilient. And so as we enter into the new year and we set all of our goals and our resolutions and our aspirations, there will be times that we are going to face storms. And I just want us to take that time to reflect and remember exactly who we are. For we, the people of the Cayman Islands, are resilient people. I saw a post recently by a young West Bay lady. She put to Facebook that her word for 2023 was pivot. And I thought it would be appropriate to just challenge each and every one of you watching this today, bearing in mind and remembering that when we face storms, we are resilient people. I think that it's easy for us to forget that sometimes. In addition to that, pivoting, pivoting all of you that watch sports you know that in order to pivot you have to stay connected one foot must always stay on the ground and so as we move through all of the career aspirations or resolutions goals that we've set for the new year as those challenges come our way sometimes it'll change our course as long as we are connected even if our direction changes, we will still be able to accomplish what we've set out to do. For we are a country built by resilient Caymanians and we too are resilient people. And if we look at the storms that we have faced previously, if we look at, let's just go far back. Let's think about Hurricane Ivan. You know, when we think about storms that come since Ivan, we already feel confident. We know what to expect. We know how to prepare. That storm has helped us to prepare for storms that we will face in the future. And just like Hurricane Ivan, we made it through that. We've also made it through a global pandemic. And now we are in a global financial crisis. And we will make it through that as well, bearing in mind who we are and how we navigate through each storm. So, Cayman, as we approach a new year, I encourage each of you to remember who we are and to always remember that in order to stay on path, accomplish what we've set out to do, we just need to stay connected and pivot. So, happy new year, Cayman and to all of those who are watching, residents, visitors, whether you are near, whether you are far, my wish for each of you is that you will have a safe and happy, and of course, prosperous new year. And we, as a government, as a country, you know, we, uh, our responsibility is to do the same thing, is to stay connected to the people of this country, to listen to what you are concerned about and as we navigate through the storms staying connected to you and of course God 
we will make it through any challenge that faces these islands or face these islands. And if we think about our blessings, there are so many countries around the world that just want to be like this little Cayman Islands. They just want to be like us because we are a resilient country and we are a country that many look up to. And so we will continue to guide these islands and these people into a new year that by the grace of God will be prosperous, happy and healthy. Happy New Year, Cayman.